Friday, time for your IU History Briefing. So uh, today I am in, uh, let's call it an undisclosed location, uh, a secret place here on campus. Although it's not that secret, uh, lots of folks have, have probably heard about it over time. Uh, I am actually underneath the bowling alley uh, in the Union, and through this door over my shoulder back here is what used to be a rifle range. So back in the day, uh, starting uh, with the Union having been built uh, shortly thereafter, uh, University ROTC uh, and the police department uh, used to use this area as a rifle range. And it was designed and built uh, as an actual rifle range uh, down here in the basement of the Union. Uh, so to start with, uh, we'll show you the vault. Uh, so this is the area where the armory, where they actually kept the weapons at, uh, and those materials that were inside of here uh, and so nowadays this is a storage closet uh, and has some other stuff in it that the, that the union uses in fact right now it's kind of funny uh, they are prepping all of their stuff uh, for the Halloween events and they've actually laid out a lot of their Halloween stuff uh, all throughout the floor in here so there's like skeletons and there there's uh, all sorts of ghosts and ghouls and goblins uh, but the rest of this back over here this is the rifle range uh, and you can see over my shoulder back here uh, how far back this goes and, and what's set up here. Uh, the targets were down at that end, people stayed on this end uh, and shot that direction. And this is actually a replacement floor. They have encapsulated uh, where the lead pit would have been. Uh, they, they cleared out some of the lead so one of the staff that was here uh, when they cleaned this out 25, 30 years ago was telling me how when they decontaminated it they literally were pulling out 55 gallon drums full of lead. Uh, in order to, to get it out of here. And then what was left, they just encapsulated and they put this concrete floor in. You can see it's raised up a couple inches back there. They put a flat concrete floor in all the way to the far wall and encapsulated the area where the lead would have been before that. So a little history of rifle teams at IU. Uh, so we had a rifle team starting right after World War I and they, uh, we actually had a men's team and a women's team. Uh, women's rifle team was actually one of the first uh, co-ed intercollegiate sports at IU. They would actually shoot matches against other schools and they would, what they would do is the women would, weren't allowed to travel uh, or they, they didn't have the budget to travel so they would shoot the match here and then send the scores to the other school who would do the same thing at the same time and send their scores to IU and then they would compare the scores to decide who won. Uh, occasionally they did have a chance to travel and go actually meet and, and compete against other teams but most of their matches were, were conducted uh, telegraphically uh, as they referred to it at that point uh, but we had a men's team and a women's team uh, all the way up through uh, really somewhere in the early 60s uh, the team uh, left uh, died out I'm not sure how long the women's team lasted I know it lasted until about World War II uh, the men's team after World War II in the 1950s was actually an intercollegiate varsity sport uh, so you could actually earn your I, uh, your varsity letter for being on the rifle team and competing. And we had some national level shooters uh, who were here during that time, uh, including a couple folks that did very well at nationals uh, uh, and, and went on to careers uh, as marksmen, either in the military or out, uh, and, and did that sort of stuff. Uh, but so, yeah, so this is the rumored uh, shooting range that's under the Union. Uh, it does exist, it is here. If you know the right people, uh, as I happen to, they were able to, to give me access to this. Uh, so shout out and thanks to the Indiana Memorial Union staff uh, who were not only able to uh, get me in here and show me this stuff, they were able to guide me through the machine rooms of the basement in order to find it, uh, which is generally how you have to get to it today. There used to be some better access from the outside that we don't have anymore. Uh, but yes, the range in the Union does exist and this is what it looks like as of today. All right, that's your briefing for today. We'll see you next week.